72. So it's Eastbourne Borough who are aiming to reach the second round for the first time in their history. We'll play number four. We'll play Blackpool then. It's the eve of one of the biggest matches in Eastbourne Borough's history. Kevin Anson caught up with James Hammond and Captain Charlie Walker for their views on the big match. Well, I'm with uh, James Hammond and Charlie Walker. A couple of days to go to the big match. How are you feeling, James? Yep, just excited to uh, get on the pitch Sunday. Quite apprehensive as well, obviously playing on TV for the first time, but essentially all the pressure's on them. So yeah, just excited, all the boys are as well. Doesn't take much to get you excited about a football match, Charlie? No, not really, no. I, I, every, it's the same feeling for me every Saturday, whether it's FA Cup, League, um, you get the butterflies and you get on the pitch and it it's all disappears. So yeah, I'm excited as well. What works best for you? A, a sort of a cagey game that takes ages to catch fire or a end-to-end? -end? <laughs> um, I don't like either, to be honest. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, all our games this season, we've had like three or four, we've had to grind a result out towards the end by winning by one goal or something like that. So we're quite used to it. Um, that feeling's all the, always the same. End-to-end's -end's never nice when you play in the middle of the pitch because it's a bit more running. But hopefully we'll just be organised and... Well, if we can run away with it, that'd be great, but it's going to be tough. It's interesting because uh, looking at our little cup run, first of all, we had that incredible ding-dong at Dorking. That was a really smashing game, Charlie. Um, I'm sure it was to watch. It wasn't that enjoyable <laughs> being part of it because obviously we're then going down to 10 men as well. It's when you sort of think you're comfortable and you're going to go on to win easily and then they scored the equaliser. It was, yeah, it was like you say, it was a bit of a roller coaster, um, but... I'm hoping Sunday isn't like that and it's a bit more straightforward. And, and we then had Sheppey and th that was, I mean, we're talking now about playing Blackpool and we're the, the, the lower ranked club. Sheppey were a couple of steps below us and did it take you by surprise? Definitely. Well, we sort of knew what they were like. Danny, always, like I said, he does his research. We knew they were a decent side, had decent players. And to be honest, like three level, they, I think they're three levels below us, which says same gap, but first, first half, they beat us 1-0 essentially and it took us another 45 minutes bringing Greg on to change the game so it just shows the, the gaps so it gives us confidence if anything um, to go out there and knowing that we've three levels below to give it a good go. Because 1-0 should always be um, fetchable back shouldn't it but uh, it went quite deep into that game before you turned it around. Yeah it, like Hammer said it, they were they were probably better than us in the first half it was a it was a tricky game. They are always tricky. And like you said as well, we've experienced it the other way. So we sort of know going into the game that the pressure was on us and that we should go out and beat them. And it doesn't always happen like that. So we're going to hopefully take that into and use that to our advantage on Sunday. And then it was Dulwich Hamlet, um, which, which actually wasn't a fantastic game to watch, to be honest. Um, and I thought you were probably better than just the 1-0 over, over the 90 minutes. Yeah, I think we were decent. I think we managed the conditions well. Probably, I can't remember. I think it was windy, but as as per. But um, yeah, no, it was a good game. I think we just managed the game better than them. I think we just wanted it more as well. Um, our team spirit come through. Um, we could have probably got a couple more goals as well, like you said, but 1-0 is enough, clean sheet. Because however much you plan, however much uh, the gaffer talks in the changing room, each football match is actually a sort of a different script isn't it so you have to manage it when you're out there yeah it is and I think I think this season so far we had that's what we've done very well is manage games where if you look over the last few seasons I've been here we haven't been great at managing games and we've sort of conceded a lot of goals in the last 10 minutes and we don't seem to be doing that this year which is really good we sort of we know a shape that we can sit into and be really hard to break down and I think that's going to put us in really good stead for Sunday against a good League One side. What's he like as a captain? Yeah, he's good. Like like he said in his other interview, he's um, in the changing room. He's class. He's um, he's he's the one who gets us going as well on the pitch as well. He's he whines a bit, but he wants the best from everyone, which is clear. Um, and also, when of his quality, like it does. That's why sometimes captains are just one of the best players. Just like that, it just makes you better, makes the players better around him. 
Boys, I'm keeping you from your training, and that's what football's all about, not talking down microphones. So all the best for Sunday from all of us, and thanks for those words. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers.